In the last video, we looked at the rationale behind why I and others might begin to use EdTech, namely an AI platform in the teaching of a foreign language, in particular English as a foreign language. I felt that I needed a compass, if you like, something to guide me in the rolling out and the use of this technology. And it was a strange coincidence that around the same time as committing to Sentry, there was a book published called Machine Learning and Human Intelligence, The Future of the Education of Education for the 21st Century by Professor Professor Rosemary Luckin of University College London. Professor Luckin is Professor of Learner Centred Design at the UCL Knowledge Lab in London. Her research involves the design and evaluation of educational technology using theories from the learning sciences and techniques from AI and she's very active in this field. Anyway, after already being familiar with her work, I thought that her book about the future of education for the 21st century could serve as a truly useful guiding light in helping me to consider aspects of technology within the classroom, which ordinarily I might never think about. Yes, I have experience teaching English, but I think that as we see more edtech into the market and into schools, it's more important than ever that teachers develop their understanding of research-based method methodologies it's a bit of a mouthful, to implement within the classroom and that schools themselves are equipped with the right mindset before spending money on edtech which may end up in the cupboard after six months gathering dust because it wasn't needed or wasn't used correctly. Now I won't go into too much detail about the book but here's the central premise that the methods we use for identifying, talking about and valuing human intelligence are impoverished. As a consequence of these impoverished tools, we are dumbing down, not smarting up, the most valuable resource we have in the world, ourselves. Now, as I covered in a previous video, I feel that the approach to learning and the approach to teaching is often something which needs greater reflection and potentially to be improved. Of course, these are my own opinions and specific to the context that I've seen in education, but my vision for a quality or at least an improved English as a foreign language education for my students would be to give them more opportunity to build their speaking skills in collaborative tasks. Why? Well, often I am the only access to a native English speaker throughout a student's life. They do not get it from their public school, unfortunately. So when they come to private lessons in the evening, I don't necessarily want them to be sitting in silence for the majority of the class, nor do I want them doing things which they could be doing at home. As a result, I saw that Century could offer me the chance to help them just do that. Focus on more repetitive knowledge building tasks at home, concerned with say the learning grammatical concepts. And then they could come to class and have the opportunity to put that theory into practice. So let's dive in and I'll show you how I did that and how you might use Century to do just that.